VB script variables. Next chapter, VB script variables. VB script variables. See first, what is variable? What is variable? See variable is global concept. You can find variables in all programming languages and scripting languages. Variable, a named memory location for storing the data. A named memory a named memory location uh, to store the data. See memory. In computer environment, we have two types of memories. See, two types. Two types of memory. In computer environment what are the two types of memory one is primary memory primary memory another is <coughs> secondary memory secondary memory primary memory means RAM random access memory secondary memory ROM ROM for example HDD hard disk drive next CD ROM DVD USB drives, etc. See, variables store in primary memory, not in secondary memory. Primary memory. Next, lifetime of variable. See, while execution, while script execution, they load into primary memory. After completion of the execution, they remove from the RAM. Okay. Next, declaration of variables. See, first point, what is variable? Next, declaration of variables. declaration of variables see we can declare variables in VB script using either public or private or dim keywords but public private generally web developers use in our test automation we use a dim statement. See. Variables can be declared using either public not case sensitive or private or dim dimension dim statements see in our test automation we use dim how to declare how to declare first syntax 
dem variable name dem variable name or suppose if you want to declare multiple variables uh, in a statement by separating with commas you can declare dem variable 1 name next variable 2 name next variable 3 like this if you take new statement if you take new line again we need to declare dim statements again we need to declare dim example dim a or dim a comma b comma c next impl uh, explicit and implicit declaration of variables c implicit and a explicit declaration of variables if vb script supports implicit and explicit declaration of variables suppose uh, for example programming languages c java they support explicit declaration of variables only what is implicit declaration and what is explicit declaration I will show an example then you can understand the concept see <coughs> dem a a equal to 100 b equal to 200 msg box a plus b run the script see 300 output 300 see in this uh, small uh, example a is a explicit variable explicit variable next b is implicit variable uh, now you tell me what is explicit and what is implicit explicit is you declare a variable like you declare by dim a but for dim you didn't write dim b so that is implicit okay yeah. explicit means first to declare then use first to declare the variable then use uh, implicit declaration means without declaring directly use which one is best practice explicit why I will explain explicit declaration is best practice why observe dim tickets price total uh, suppose tickets tickets equal to 7 price equal to 100 total equal to tickets into price MSG box total run the script 
see it. My expected output is 700. 7 into 100, 700. But it is showing 0. Why? Why it is showing incorrect input, uh, incorrect output? It is not showing any errors. But providing incorrect output. Why? What is the reason? What is the reason? It is not. You, uh, you know, I mean, you wrote the price P R I E. Yes, uh, spell uh, spell mistake. See, declaration time I used P R I C E. Value assignment time I used P R I C E. But this uh, calculation time I used P R I E. But it is not showing any error. Why? VB script supports implicit declaration of variables also. So VB script point of view, this PRIE is new variable, undeclared variable. By default variable value is zero. Something into zero, uh, result zero. It is showing incorrect output but not showing any error. This is the problem of implicit variables. See, problem of implicit variables. See. Problem with uh, implicit variables. Then how to overcome this problem? See, VB script supports Implicit variables. How to restrict? Uh, say, use option explicit declaration to declare all variables explicitly. Say, option explicit statement. What is option explicit statement? It forces declaration of all variables. It forces declaration of all variables. If you try to execute this script, <coughs> definitely it will show error. Then you can rectify the problem. Run the script. So it is showing error. Variable is undefined. P R I E then you can rectify the problem. You can correct the C. Now it is showing 700. Got the point? How to declare variables explicitly? Yes sir. Yes sir. Using option explicit statement. Mm -hmm. Using option explicit statement. See next fourth point. Assigning, assigning values to variables, assigning values to variables. See, assigning values to variables, two types. One is initialization. Initialization means assigning value directly in the script. Example, A equal to 100. We are assigning this 100 directly. Next, reading. One is initialization, another is reading. You know reading that we discussed in data types chapter. Uh, reading four types. Reading from input devices. Next reading from files. Uh, here text files. Excel files. 
Next, reading from databases. Next, reading from application objects. Suppose one edit box is there in our application. If you want to read that data from a edit box, you can read from application objects. Say, so I will show one small example. See, reading from application objects yesterday in data types chapter we discussed. Reading from files and databases that we will discuss in automation objects chapter. Reading from I.O. devices. See, dem num1, comma, num2. num1 equal to 100 num2 equal to uh, read data input box it is built in function of VB script of any message any meaningful message enter num2 value next msg box message optional in the last statement message optional addition of num1 comma num2 is concatenate num1 plus num2 run the script enter num2 value 200 see addition of num1 comma num2 is 300 See in the last statement addition of num1 comma num2 optional. See in this uh, example num1 is initialization. Num2 reading. Understand the concept initialization and reading? Yes. Put mute. Next, usage of variables. Usage of variables. See, you know, purpose of variables to store the data or to hold the data. Okay, that is general. I will explain different types of usage. See general usage variables for storing the data. I will explain different types of usage. Observe. Dem A A equal to 100. This is just <coughs> holding the data we are not at this point of time we are not using this value later we will use or not later we will use we use don't use that is different just holding the data holding the data next a equal to Just a minute. 10 to the power of 3. It will show 1000. This is 
storing the data that written by a formula that written by a program see returning result storing the data that written by a program program means any formula returns re result next a equal to date date is built in function storing the data that written by a function either built in function or user defined function user defined functions local names local built in functions standard fixed that written by a function c next suppose uh, set a equal to create object set a equal to create object of scripting dot file system object see before the statement a is just a variable after a type uh, after a enter dot nothing coming next after the statement type dot methods and properties coming from this class see after the statement a is object see this usage is storing object reference for creating automation objects we use variables just a minute you can check this one msg box where type of a then it will show 9 9 for automation object automation object next as parameter as parameter uh, observe I am taking another variable B open order functionality uh, record the navigation open an order stop suppose I want to open one to five orders for that you can parameterize using variable for B equal to one to five See, pass B as parameter. Uh, if you want to observe the test execution process, just a minute. B is parameter. 
variable as parameter. If you want to observe the test execution process, insert wait statement, it is optional. Uh, just run the, uh, put base state, just run the script. The thousand uh, current system date, March 13, 2015. Auto 9 for automation object. See, executing. Order number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm, tell me, usage of variables we can use uh, variables for different uh, purposes na tell me what are the usage of variables um, first one to, and mm, here implicit and explicit is not the concept usage of variables uh, uses first one to hold the data mm -hmm. Second one, to store the data that written by a program, means result, uh -huh. returning result. Next, to store the data that written by a function. Next, to, cre uh, to create object reference. Next, as parameter. Any confusion? No confusion. As I'm, I'm, no, number, I'm confused with that holding that data thing. Holding me, data means here we, we are just assigning the data and we are not saying yeah. anything. Later we can use or not, that is different matter. But observe in the second one, 10 to the power of, yeah. 10 to the power of 3, here we are not uh, assigning the value, that formula is generating the value, returning result. Okay. Holding data means just assigning, just initializing. Okay. Next in the second one, we are not initializing. One formula is generating the data. Oh, okay. Formula. See here I use 10 to the power of 3. Suppose one result, result is, um, result formula is generating. Suppose we are calculating total. As per our business logic, total equal to tickets into price. We use tickets into price. As per tickets and price, it will generate that value. Isn't it? Yes. See next. Sixth one. Naming restrictions. Naming restrictions uh, first one variable names should start with alphabets variable name just a minute Variable naming restrictions. Variable name should start with alphabets. First letter alphabet. After second letter onwards, you can use numbers. Say, dim. A, B, C. Is it correct declaration or incorrect declaration? Dem A, B, C. Is it correct incorrect. or incorrect? Huh? Incorrect. Incorrect. Why? Correct, correct. Correct. See, A, B, C is single word. Correct declaration. C. Next. Dem a, B, 7. 
Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Why? Because it's first letter it's start with alphabets. First letter alphabets only, na? Yeah. After first okay. letter we can use uh, numbers. Uh, Run the script. See executing without any error. Next. Dem. 7 BC. Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. See definitely it will show error. See error. Variable names should start with alphabets. Next, variable name cannot contain embedded periods. I will show an example. Dim ABC correct declaration. Next Dim AB space C space is embedded period. Incorrect. Next, dim a b iphon c incorrect. Next, dim a b star c incorrect. Dim a b dot c dot embedded period incorrect next dim a b underscore c correct underscore only acceptable uh, remaining special character is, uh, special characters not allowed Next, variable names must not exceed 255 characters. Actually that much length not required, but maximum length of a variable is 255 characters. 1 to 255. Minimum length 1, maximum length 255. Variable names must not exceed 255 characters. Next, uh, must be unique variable must be unique in the scope of declaration. Must be unique <coughs> in the scope of declaration. Say dim a comma b comma c is it correct declaration or incorrect declaration correct declaration correct next dim say you can use single declaration statement or multiple statements by separating with commas we can declare multiple variables in a statement if you take new line, again we need to use dim statement. <coughs> Suppose 
D comma E comma F. It is also correct. Next, dim G comma H comma A. Observe last statement. Correct declaration or incorrect declaration? Maybe capital cannot be. Capital also acceptable. What is the problem? Correct. Then correct. Correct. Incorrect. Why? VB script is not a case sensitive language. No difference between small a and capital A. A already declared in first statement. First yeah, okay. So incorrect. Mm -hmm. Run the script definitely it will show error. See name redefined. Next, should not use reserved words. Should not use reserved words as variable names. Example, dim for while. Try to run this script, definitely it will show error. Error. See, these are the variable naming restrictions in VB script. Tell me five naming restrictions we discussed. Variable naming restrictions. What are they? It can uh, it can start with uh, let, l number. 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 Ah, it cannot. Um, not not only value, number. Value. See, that is not the criteria. It cannot start with number, but not only number, special character also. But that is not the criteria. What is the criteria? Variable name should start with um, alphabet. Okay. Alphabet. Alphabet. Uh, next, second one. Mm. Should not contain embedded periods. Yes. Dot, hyphen, star, space like embedded periods. Periods. Only underscore symbol acceptable. Uh, next. Uh, it's not case sensitive. Mm, case sensitive, okay. That is not the restriction. Is it restriction? No. Hmm. Must not exceed 255 characters in length. Yes. Next, should be unique in the scope of declaration. Mm -hmm. No duplicate variables. Next, five we discussed. First one, variable name should start with alphabets next should not contain embedded periods next should not hmm. exceed 255 character ah. must, must be, be unique. unique in the scope next should it's not like use reserved words okay as variable names okay next Scope we discussed in a scope. Uh. Next topic, scope of variables. Scope of variables. See in VB script we have uh, two types of scope. First one, script level. script level variables next 
procedure or function level. Function level. Variables. Next, what is script level variable? It can be used for entire script. You can use anywhere in the script. And next function level variable. See it can be used uh, within the function only. So I will show an example then you can get more clarity. Dem A comma B comma C A equal to ten B equal to twenty C equal to A plus B MSG box C. Next, I am declaring one function. Uh, don't concentrate on function syntax that we will discuss in user defined functions chapter. Now, our focus on variables only. See, function, function name AXYZ, uh, no arguments. Uh, within functions also you can declare variables dem d comma e d equal to 50 e equal to a plus d MSG box E. Call the function. Call AXYZ. Then it will write A is 10, D is 50, 60. Next, DEM F, G. See, you can declare variables anywhere in the script but best practice is declare all variables at top of the program declare all variables at top of the program that is best practice f equal to 70 next <coughs> g equal to B plus D plus F MSG box G. Uh, see in this uh, example total three outputs. Uh, what is the first output? MSG box C. Tell me the value. Expect 30. 30. Next second output MSG box E. A means 10 plus 50, 60. 60. Next, last output, B, D, F. 20 plus 50, 70 plus 71, 40. B, 20, uh, 90. Run the script. 30, 60, 
90. Put mute, I will explain. See, 30 means A value 10 plus B value 20. Okay. Next here, 60 means uh, D, uh, first one A value 10 plus D value 50. Next here, BDF. Here, B value 20 plus D. D is function level variable can be used within that function only. Uh, script point of view, D is implicit variable. By default, value is 0. Next, F is again script level variable, value is 70. Okay, now, got the point? Yes, yes, I got it. Uh, run the script. First output 30, second output 60, last output 90. Observe, first 3, script level. script level variables next de function level variables next fg again script level variables okay Uh, suppose if we use option explicit, explicit statement, option explicit statement, option explicit, what will happen? First output 30, second mm -hmm. output 60, third output, third output. Third output will be only error. Error, okay. Uh, D variable undefined for script level. Error only. See, run the script. First output 30, second output 60, last output V, uh, D. D variable undefined for script, uh, script level. It is only function level. Next point, types of variables. Types of variables. See, we have two types of variables in VB script. One is scalar variables. Scalar variables. A scalar variables to store single value. To store single value. At a time, value may vary throughout the execution but one value at a time next array array variables to store series of values at a time based on size of the array to store series of values at a time based on size of the array 
see VB script arrays index based index starts from 0 suppose size 9 you can store 0 to 9 means n plus 1 values VB script arrays VB script arrays having 0 based index next declaration of array variables declaration of arrays same syntax dem <coughs> array variable name array variable name within parenthesis size size in number <clears throat> example dim a of a of 3 how many values we can store in this uh, a array variable 3 4 values 0 base four. index 0, zero. to 3 0 to 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 values. See. We can store 4 values. Observe. How to store values also I will show. dem a of 3 a of 0 equal to 10 a of 1 equal to 20 next a of 2 equal to 30 a of 3 equal to 40 suppose one scalar variable b b equal to a of 1 plus a of 2 Now what is the output? 50 See 50 Put mute, run the script 50 Next one more thing, you can store different types of data also. VB script is a lightweight language, no formalities, less or no formalities. If it is programming language C, Java, they won't accept different types of data. Suppose A of 0, 10, A of 3 is A, B, C. Yes, you can use different types of data also.
see if we can assign different types of data also next suppose a of 4 equal to 50 observe here variable size is 3 we can store 0 to 3 but um, uh, I wrote one more element uh, will it execute or show any error it should show error error script out of range uh -huh. see subscript out of range error see Next, <laughs> dynamic and uh, dimensional arrays, dynamic and dimensional arrays. See our test automation point of view, normal arrays, one dimension array, enough, normal array means one dimension, but in, uh, in VB script, dynamic arrays and dimensional arrays also there, just I will explain the concept, but you no need to concentrate on dynamic and dimensional arrays, generally web developers use dynamic and dimensional arrays but for our test automation normal array means single dimensional uh, single dimensional array what we discussed in previous example is enough see first declaring dynamic arrays dynamic array what is dynamic array whose size is undefined later changes throughout the execution whose size is undefined changes throughout the execution say dem a comma b of 3 comma c see to declare how to declare dynamic arrays use blank parenthesis see in this declaration three variables a is scalar variable b is array variable uh, single dimensional array c is dynamic array uh, how to use c array if you want to use c First, you need to specify the size using redimension statement. Redim. C of C of two. Then we can 
uh, assign three values. How to assign? C of 0 equal to 10. C of 1 equal to 20. C of 2. Just a minute. C of 2 equal to 30. MSG box A equal to C of 0 plus C of 2. Output 10 plus 30, 40. Next, again I want to resize the, you can resize n number of times. Uh, for, you can resize dynamic arrays n number of times. Again, I want to re, uh, resize, read him C of 4. This time I can assign 5 values, 0 to 4, 5 values. C of 3 equal to 40. C of 4 equal to 50. Next, MSG box. Uh, before that, assign. Uh, calculate. A equal to C of 2 plus C of 4. MSG box. A. Uh, what is the last statement output? Forty. Forty. Last statement output. C two. C of two plus C of four. C of two. Is not C of four statement. So, will that give us? There is no C of two. Declare. I mean, there is no value declared. C of two is there, na? Ah, uh, thirty. Uh, thirty plus fifty is eighty. Okay, fifty. Run the script. What is the false? Just a minute. Run the script. First output 40. Second output 50. Why 50? Second output. Whenever you resize the array, it formats uh, previous values. C of 2, 30. But after resizing, C of 2, 0 only. Uh, suppose you don't want to format, if you want uh, previous values as it is, uh, then use preserve statement, preserve. Preserve keyword. If you want to carry old values as it is, Use preserve keyword where in resizing preserve then output will be 80 30 plus 50 80 run the script first value 40 second value 80 understand the concept so Next, dimensional arrays. See, VB script supports up to 60 dimensions. 
but human brain can understand up to five dimensions five dimensions only after five dimensions mad but vb script supports up to 60 dimensions dem a comma b of 4 comma c blank parenthesis next d of 4 comma 5 See in this declaration, four variables. A is scalar variable. B is single dimensional array. C is dynamic array. Next D is two dimensional array. In 2D array, first value indicates rows, second value indicates columns. Ah, uh, 2D array, tabular format. Here in d array we can store uh, 30 values 4 means 5 rows zero based index 5 means 6 columns 5 into 6 30 cells 30 values how to store d of 0 comma 0 first row first column equal to uft like this Next zero comma one zero comma two one comma zero one comma one like that. Next assigning series of values to array variables. Just a minute. Assigning. Series of values at a time, not one by one. At a time, series of values assigning series of values to array variables. See, we have two possibilities. First one, just a minute. Okay. First one using array function. Function name also array. Using array function. It is built-in function of VB Script. Another way using split function. It is also built-in function of VB Script. Example. Dem a comma b. Dem a comma b. Otherwise, just a. As per declaration, a is scalar variable. You can check that one. msg box is array is array also built in function of vb script it checks whether the variable is array variable or not and it returns logical result boolean result true or false like boolean result is array function it checks Whether the variable is array variable or not. Now tell me output of the second statement. Scalar, scalar. Output of the second statement is array function returns boolean result, true or false. What is the what is the functionality of is array? It checks whether the variable is array variable or not. If it is array variable, it returns true. If it is Scalar variable it returns false. 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 Next, 
assign series of values using array function a equal to array of hundred two hundred next three hundred you can use uh, different types of data also India one point two two next ten slash ten slash two zero one zero Next, after assigning series of values using array function, then a is array variable. You check that one. MSG box is array of a. What is the output? Last statement output. What is the last true. statement? True. Uh, run the script. False. Before assigning series of values, false. After assigning series of values, true. And you can uh, display the values also. Suppose MSG box A of 1. Ah, a of 1. What is the first, uh, what is the A of 1 value? Observe. What is the last statement output? A of 0 means first value, 100. A of 1 means second value, 200. Next. Run the script. False. True. 200. Next observe. I want to display India. Uh, tell me. MSG box. A of. I want to display India. 3. 3. No close it. India. Run the script, false, true, 200, India. Next, I want to uh, take the size of ARA, size. MSG box, I am going to introduce one more built-in function, U bound, upper boundary of A. What is the output? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values means 5, 0 to 5. Run the script. False, true, 200, India, 5. Next, using split function also, we can assign series of values. How? Observe. Dem A comma B A equal to V B script language Next, split A and store into B. B equal to split of A. See, default delimiter is space. So, you no need to specify. Next, MSG box. 
b of 1 uh, tell me what is the last statement output script script good script so you can check this variable msg box is array is array of b see before split false next after split after assigning values true next size u bound upper boundary of b what is the last statement output script last statement out output size of the b b array size of the b array upper boundary here how many values three values vb script language three values means 0 to 2 size is 2 run the script false true script 2 see here default delimit is space if any other you need to specify the delimiter how suppose VB at script at this one. Uh, how to split B equal to split of A comma within double quotes delimiter. Run the script false true script two. Next, you can use uh, uh, not only single character, you can use multiple characters also delimiters. Now here specify. Suppose if you don't specify what will happen. See, it is splitting based on that uh, at the rate symbol based on at the rate symbol this one but I want to like this false true script to okay now specifying delimiter yes what yes, is sir. the default delimiter space space is default delimiter you no need to specify See, this is about uh, variables. See, in this chapter, we discussed uh, what is variable, declaration of variables, next, uh, usage of variables, assigning values to variables, next, uh, naming restrictions, next, uh, scope of variables, types of variables, assigning series of values to array variables etc next as per our roadmap operators see first we discussed after roadmap first we discussed comments small chapter next chapter data types also small chapter this is third chapter vb script variables next fourth chapter fourth chapter VB script operators operators <coughs> see you take any programming language or scripting language you can find operators 
what is operator <coughs> see operators operators are used to perform mathematical comparison and logical operations operators are used to perform mathematical comparison and logical operations see here one concept is there operator precedence priority process see operator precedence what is operator precedence operator evaluation priority process see it is operator evaluation process generally vb script evaluates operators from left to right that is general rule say generally vb script evaluates operators from left to right this is general rule but any high priority operator is there in right side first vb script evaluates high priority operator then general rule see but any high priority high priority operator is there in right side uh, vb script first evaluates a high priority operator then general rule okay na operator precedence so i will show one example <coughs> msg box Ten plus three, uh, ten plus four into two. Uh, what is the output? General rule is left. See in this expression, we have two operators: addition, multiplication. Ah, uh, generally VB script evaluates operators from left to right. Ah, uh, tell me the output. it means it's 14 to the 28 ah that is general rule but multiplication operator having high priority than addition operator then yes. first vb script evaluates mm -hmm. multiplication 4 into oh, 2 okay. 8 8 plus 10 18 18 ah next in order to override operator precedence use parenthesis suppose i don't want multiplication i want addition first in order to override operator precedence use parenthesis see msg box 10 plus 4 into 
See space optional. into 2 then uh, first addition then multiplication 14 into 2 28 see first output 18 second output 28 run the script 18 28 next uh, types of operators in categories of operators in uh, VB script uh, we have three types one is uh, arithmetic arithmetic operators See first operators category wise priority. See categories of operators. We have basically we have three categories arithmetic operators. Next Comparison operators, comparison. Next, logical operators, logical. See, uh, some are saying one more category concatenation operators concatenation operators uh, but concatenation operators is not separate type concatenation operators also part of arithmetic see part of arithmetic operators. So basically we have three categories only. Okay. See first category wise priority then operator wise priority. First, first high priority category arithmetic. Next comparison. Last one logical. Got the point? Tell me category wise priority. What is the high priority? First category. Uh, arithmetic operator. Next. Comparison. Next last one. And logical. Logical. See first arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators. See all arithmetic operators are not equal. Again in arithmetic operators also priority is there, priority process is there. Here high priority exponentation. Exponentation uh, to the power of cap symbol. I will show examples tomorrow in the next class. Multiplication. star symbol next division forward slash next integer division backward slash next mod operator it returns a reminder see mod is not symbol oriented operator text oriented next 
एडिशन ऑपरेटर addition plus sign next subtraction minus symbol next pure concatenation operator pure concatenation operator ampersand sign see this is the priority see in arithmetic operators last question for the day tell me in arithmetic operator uh, we have eight operators uh, tell me priority wise first one exponentation exponentation uh. Next multiplication. Um, multiplication and then forward slash. Third third oh. one division. Division. Yeah. Fourth division one for integer division. Fifth mm -hmm. one mod operator. Sixth one addition. addition. Seventh one subtraction. Mm -hmm. Last one concatenation operator mm -hmm. ampersand sign. Okay. Just a minute.